So uh, when we create any uh, mandatory field, at that time what we do, we create uh, somehow a user should be, uh, he should be known that this is a important field, like a mandatory field. So for that, what we can, what we have, uh, we can do, we have an option. Let's say if I want this employee number to be mandatory. So, so here in this employee number item, when you in this section, when you'll come down, we have here an option as appearance. So when you'll click on this required above or required anything, this any of this, if you'll select any of these required stuff, let's say I'm selecting this required above. I'm just changing the template uh, format actually. So, so as you can see, this is, uh, this is normal. And I have saved that required one. Now I'll show you what the difference is going to get happen. So as you can see, this star mark got created over here, the star mark. So this star mark will help user to understand, okay, this is the mandatory field like that. And once, so this is, uh, you're showing user that this is a mandatory field, then you can create a validation over there like that. And again, here you have a lot of other options as well, required above, then a required floating. Let's say I'll select required floating and we'll save it. It will somehow look different. I'll show you like this. So this uh, red mark got, uh, you know, uh, highlighted over here like that. So this is how you can highlight the mandatory fields. Okay, so one more thing I'll, I just want to tell you that here, let's say for any of the item, we have an option over here as uh, value required. So uh, an inbuilt validation is already there with uh, with every item actually and that validation is value required so th we have option to on and off so when we will on it actually and we'll save it we are def we, we are going to have a default validation over this item employee name and how that will behave i'll show you we'll click on create let's click on create again and uh, Okay, so let's fill these informations. Uh, okay, this employee num name itself is not visible. I think I have restricted that item. Let me go back down over here. And this is server side condition. I'm going to uh, remove it in the server side condition uh, because I think I was explaining something in my last webinar session and then I have done that. So yeah, as you can see, we have this employee name uh, over here. Now uh, let's click on create because we have created an inbuilt validation. So this is how inbuilt validation behaves. It just give a default pop-up message, correct error before saving. And you're getting a message like this. So before this validation will get executed, actually this, this thing will get executed before this. Okay. So uh, this is inbuilt validation thing. But again, you can write your, you cannot write your business logic or your, your stuff. Okay, for that you have to create your validation from here itself. You you cannot rely on this uh, option. Oh, where where was option? Here you cannot rely on this option actually, because this is not going to control your code. For that you have to write your validation over here because you can write anything. You can write your PLSQL uh, function. You can write your PLSQL uh, the the complete uh, logic and all those things over here but you can not control if you'll use this validation. But again, we have this option as well. I just wanted to show you, so I have shown you. We are having this field, okay. And we have created an edit link over here. When we click on this, a form get opened and all this information get populated. This was our requirement, uh, our, uh, I mean, uh, the, the, the requirement for last session. Now, we have certain uh, changes over here. I mean, because he got some issue, I'll, I'll let you know what issue he got. So for, to che check the code of this place, we'll go to page number two. Here is the page number two. Okay. And uh, here is the employee data. Under employee data, we have this employee number. And this employee number is nothing but this column, employee number, edit, okay. So as you can see here, the heading is edit. Okay. This is of link type and we have given a link and we have uh, populated all the fields, page number three and page number three items like this. Okay. So 
if you'll populate something like this you'll get all the informations but let's say if you have any uh, any employee name or anything with comma separated so let me update for you uh then maybe you will be able to understand the requirement let's say i'm giving employee name like this test comma emp1 i'm updating it not a valid month sorry okay so let's change it to default one because i have changed the format over here for this thing for date field i have changed the format so let me keep it default first uh date let's remove it this format mask save it and run this page click on this again and i just want to update this name with this comma separator i have clicked on the update now we are getting information like this now uh, now his requirement is when we are clicking on this thing we are not getting employee name complete employee name over here right this is your uh, question is yeah okay. that uh, that jump that jump it, jump put into high date see high date at some other place just of, yes, as of yes. now you can say some other place it got jumped to some other place why we are getting this issue and how we can resolve it okay so we are getting this issue because let's go to page number 2 again where our link is here in this employee number we have created this link okay so here what actually happens if you'll see uh, you know if you'll see uh, the link of apex link actually you'll realize that you are having some information over here you are having some information over here with comma separator this comma separator okay so this is nothing but comma separator again you have some information over here with comma separator so when you click on this thing it what it does it actually uh, it is nothing but a url or you and that url is going to get associated like this because uh, we have inserted this uh, this comma this is going to disturb all the url everything actually and it it is going to get jumped into any other item any other item is going to get resetted so maybe i'll explain you this thing later but i'll explain you how we can resolve it actually for that what we can do we are not going to take all the information here okay we are not going to take all the information over here what we are going to do we are going to take just one information the primary key value and let's cross all the other information we are just going to take this primary key one to take this primary key one and we are going to uh, this is the default show hide uh, uh, item so we just have taken this one let's click on okay and click on save let's run it first and let's see what is going to get happen so we are getting this thing populated but these things are not populated now we want these things to be populated for that what we can do here in page number 3 what is uh, this is page number 3 the model dialog page when you click on this this is page number 3 okay so in this page number 3 we have an option here process so one process is here another process is here what is the difference this is on load on uh, on submit process as you can see this is page processing so when page get processed or when you or in simple language you can understand that when page got submitted at that time this process uh, this process code got executed but when page got load so there are two different concept page submission and page load so when you click on this thing when you click on this thing this page got loaded okay and when you click on this button this page got submitted got it so so we, you have a process over here this process works when page loads okay so on page load i'm going to write a process for this okay here what i'm going to do i'm going to write a simple select code i'll show you what i'm going to do over here so i have created a on load process we call it as on load process and here i'm going to create a simple select code select query and so this is just for my reference don't uh, look into it okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to do select all the columns these are the columns these are the column names okay so emp e name 
then we have uh, job we have manager for uh, for the sake of testing i'm just going to show you these three fields okay we can do for other fields as well so i have taken these three columns and i'm going to take respective uh, item name i want these uh, column value to be populated in this items okay from the table this is the table emp where emp number equals p3 emp number so we are actually when we are redirecting from there we are just resetting this value if you remember we kept emp number as it is and we omitted these values and how we have reset it we are resetting something like this let's validate it click on okay and here uh, create a server side condition that when item is not null which item that emp number so whenever this emp number will be having some value this onload process will get loaded okay now let's save it and refresh this page first now click on this the this one the test and uh, emp uh, okay it didn't work let me check again p3 emp name p3 emp number so all things are correct well okay so maybe oh sorry item is null i item is not null because when this item will not be null then only this thing will get processed now save it by mistake i have selected item is null but i want item is not null okay now let's click on this and as you can see we are getting this information properly so the same way you can do for other items as well yeah okay yeah 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 okay fine okay i think uh, that is it for today any other question uh, friends if you have any you can ask friends, if you have any can no so thank you so much for today maybe we are going to have our uh, next session on saturday 8 pm ist and uh, that time we will be learning about sql again a lot of other uh, stuffs are planned so yeah let's meet on our next session thanks for your participation thank you so much